So now that we have run the setup.exe file or put your media in, it should automatically pop up to this window. Now what we have here is the Autodesk AutoCAD LT 2015 installation window. There are several buttons here that I want to review with you before we start the installation. This button here will switch languages if you have multiple installation instruction in different languages. I only have English, so that's the only option. That button only changes the installation guide. It doesn't actually change your installation from one language to another. These two buttons here, Create Deployment and Install Tools and Utilities, are much more advanced than what we're going to need to get to in this training video. They are for creating enterprise solutions, meaning you have a company that has a lot of licenses of their Autodesk product and you want to install them on multiple computers or across the network. That's what these options do. The deployment will create a file that you can run on other workstations that will be preset with settings, folders, etc. And you just run that file and it installs everything for you on that workstation. It's very useful, but it's not what we need right now. The Install Tools and Utilities button, again, is much more advanced. That's used for networking options and management. What we need to install is just a standalone license on one individual computer, and we'll use the Install button. Now you have three more buttons down here, the README file, the Systems Requirements, and the Installation Help. If at any time you run into issues installing your Autodesk product, just click on this Installation Help button. This will open up a website in your default browser and will bring you to the online installation help page. It will give you help on multiple different products from Autodesk. Right here is the AutoCAD LT. Click on the plus button and scroll down. Here are several different topics where you can go to to get information about your installation. So if you run into any problems, you can go here. The systems requirement does essentially the same thing. It opens up a web page in your default browser, and this will tell you the hardware requirements for that specific Autodesk product. And in this case, it's AutoCAD LT. So you have 32-bit and 64-bit options. This will give you the operating systems requirements and the hardware. Now keep in mind, Autodesk lists the absolute minimum requirements for hardware in all of these cases for whichever product it is. Now this is the absolute minimum required hardware to turn on the software and to run it. It will not run it very well. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. And the README file opens up another web page that has the README file in it. And this has a bit of last minute information in it that may or may not have been able to get into the package software when they distribute it to you because they have to get everything ready and then set it up and it takes a process to get everything together to send to the clients, us. What it does is that it gives you a little bit of a background information of some of the new features and some of the major features that are in this version. Now we're ready to install. Before we do, if at any time you want to quit your installation, you can click the exit button and that will just stop the installation wherever you're at. So click the install button. This is the license and service agreement, often referred to as the EULA, or the end user license agreement. Read it, it's very lengthy of course, and it tells you what you're allowed to do with this license. Click on the I accept button to install it. Now you have to click on this to install it. So if you don't agree with this user agreement, you can install the Autodesk product on your machine. Once you've clicked this button, click next. Here's where you type in your registration information. So if you've purchased Autodesk AutoCAD LT 2015, you should have received a serial number via email or on the box that your software came with. Find that, type in your information, and then type in the product key. If you're not purchasing the software, you're just trying it for 30 days, click on this option here, which is what I'm going to do. Essentially, it will install the full version of AutoCAD LT. You'll just have 30 days to use it. Once those 30 days are up, you won't be able to access the software. All of your files will still be your files. You just won't be able to open them up here. When you're ready, click Next. Now, I have on my computer already installed regular full version of AutoCAD 2015. So some of these components are already on my machine, and that's what's showing up here. This Autodesk 360 account is already installed. If you don't have that installed, go ahead and do that. Just click on the box, similar to what you see here, and it will install it. Now there are some configuration settings for AutoCAD LT. 
click on the button, it will open up this window. You can go with the typical settings if you want. I suggest you go with a custom. Click in here so that everything is green, so that you install everything with it, even the sample files. Now, if you're running out of storage space and you're worried about that, you can come to the bottom right hand corner. This tells you how much room is on your hard drive. This right here tells you how much space is required. I have plenty of room, so I'm definitely going to install everything. Now, if you go through some of these and you click them to turn them off, you say, you know what, reset that, you can. Click the Restore Defaults button and it will do that. You can click on this button here to turn everything off or to turn everything back on. Now, you don't have to have any of these to install it. You see, if I unclick it, it reduces the space required. But it's really insignificant in my opinion. So I want everything, especially the fonts and the dictionaries and a lot of the other utilities, just in case. So we can scroll down now. Make sure there are no updates or service packs. AutoCAD LT2015 is relatively new right now, so there are no service packs. But if there are, it would tell you, hey, they're here, and I suggest you include them. It will download them in the install, and it will automatically install them with it. Now down here is the installation path. This is where your program is going to be installed. I suggest you leave that where it is. Unless you have some sort of special needs or requirements, I suggest you don't change that. Now once everything here is set, click the button here, and we're ready to install. Click the install button, and it's going to go through this process. You'll have a little bit of a countdown meter here, here, and this tells you a specific number of items that are needed to be installed still. So we're at three of six, so we're kind of halfway there. It's installing background software that Autodesk AutoCAD LT uses to run like DirectX, C++, things like that. It'll make sure you have the up-to-date version so it won't break anything that you have, but if it finds that it already has those items installed, then it'll just skip over that and go on. I'm gonna pause for a little bit because this can take a while and I'll come back when the process is finished. All you have to do now is just wait. And we're back. So once everything is installed, this screen will pop up. It will tell you everything you need to know. It'll say that, hey, look, you've successfully installed the selected products and everything is fantastic. If there were any errors, then the screen would be red, not blue. There would be a big red mark on here and it would tell you, hey, this failed for some reason. And it will tell you why it failed. So you'll need to review that, go through its suggestions of possible solutions and go from there. You can click on this blue eye. It will be like a red eye, maybe even a blue eye with a red border. It'll look something like that. And this is where you'll get some information. Just click on it, and it may have a link that you can click on to open up in your browser, and it may give you a suggestion as a possible solution. But if it's successful, then that's fantastic. Click on the Finish button, and then you're ready to move on by opening up AutoCAD 2015 LT for the very first time.